All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and today we're gonna to be unboxing my latest computer speakers, the Logitech Z323. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the Logitech Z323 speakers. Now I got these after my uh, good old set from Japan happened to kick the bucket on me. I'm still working on uh, getting those fixed up, but for now, I got these bad boys at Best Buy today. And uh, they come with a subwoofer, and two main speakers with the knob on the front speaker, which I like. And uh, we're gonna look at the box, and then we're gonna unbox this bad boy. So that's how it's gonna work today. So here we got the front, then we got the right side, which says rich 360 degree room filling sound with strong bass for videos, games, and music. And then going to the back here, goes in a bit more detail about what to expect from these speakers. Uh, again, 360 degree sound, uh, 30 watts RMS, 60 watts peak power delivers 360 sound from its dual drivers front and back facing speaker design. Enjoy rich, clear audio throughout the room. And it has a uh, strong bass, ported down firing subwoofer delivers bass that brings videos, games, and music to life. And a versatile setup, you can connect up to two compatible devices via the 3.5 millimeter and RCA inputs. No need to disconnect when switching between audio sources. One connect and you're set. And then the last thing here, simple controls. Easy access power, volume, headphone jack, and auxiliary jack on the right satellite speaker. Adjust the bass level with the dedicated control knob on the back of the subwoofer. And this is the actual size. Um, sorry Reddit, I don't have a banana for scale. <laughs> Now we move on to the left side, which gives you a little bit more tech specy sort of things. Uh, again, 30 watts RMS, 18 watt for subwoofer, and then six watt times two for the two side speakers. Two 3.5 millimeter inputs, one headphone jack. The controls are the power and volume controls on the right speaker, and then the bass control is on the back of the subwoofer. Now we've seen the speakers, or the box for the speakers rather. Let's see the speakers themselves. Thankfully I have my trusty scissors here. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy. I'm just gonna tilt that so y'all can see what's going on here. This stuff might fall out because I don't know if it's meant for that, but let's see what we got up front. We have the uh, safety information, of course, important. Got a quick start guide, which will get into a bit later. And now, let's see what's all inside here. So first we have the subwoofer, which this is just massive looking. Let me back the box out so you can get some idea of scale here. So look at how just utterly massive this thing is for, I mean, just for like computer speakers basically. So this thing is pretty dang big. And uh, we're just gonna open this this guy up here. Yeah. Okay. Just put that off to the side. There's nothing. A little side box here. I think that was just to hold the power cable. What we have back here, the base control, as stated. It's got its own little dedicated base knob right here. Two RCA inputs, and then here's the inputs for the speakers. So you have one for the left and then a special one for the right. It looks kind of like an old VGA port. I don't know if it's the exact same thing, but uh, you basically just plug it in and it needs like extra power inputs and stuff like that. So I think that's why it's a little uh, different, but I could be wrong. You got the subwoofer, which is uh, down firing. So that's where the, uh, the speaker is. You have the front here, which still has a little piece of plastic on there, so go ahead and take that, take that off here. There. <laughs> Couldn't get a grip on it, so now you got the little hole. So don't bring the box back. So now you got this, and that looks to be pretty much it for this box. So we're gonna move that off down here. Now we have the two satellite speakers. So we got this guy and this guy. And we're just gonna move this box off to the side here so I got a little bit more room to work with. Okay. Whoa. It's knocking off all kinds of stuff here. So we got this speaker right here, which is the left speaker. 
you can tell because it only has the one little connecty cable. And uh, here's what the left speaker looks like. It's still got some of the plastic and stuff on there. But that's what it looks like. But a lot bigger than, uh, than my old speakers. We'll see how they turn out. And also, as advertised, there's also a little speaker on the back there too. So you get full 360 sound. This is what it says anyway. <laughs> so that's the left speaker. We got ourselves the right speaker. So we're just gonna unbox this bad boy here. And then I'm just gonna take off the little shrink wrap there. And it looks so shiny, look how shiny it looks. Hair off there or whatever. <laughs> so with the right speaker you have the dedicated volume knob which turns it on, turns it off. And then you have your little inputs here. So on the side you could put one for your headphones and then one for I guess music or I don't know if that's whatever, just as an extra input. On the back it also has the, the rear firing speaker as well. So this is the main little control hub for your setup. And then it has this weird little VGA looking cable Madu that helps control everything. And then of course, the input itself, right here. So yeah, that about does it for the actual unboxing. Now let me uh, put this bad boy together and we'll get some demos out for you. So, see you in the next bit. All right guys, so now that we got the speakers all hooked up here, I'm gonna be doing uh, some sound tests with a couple songs that I got from YouTube. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is putting it at what would normally be about where I would have it if I were just like listening to music or watching videos or something like that. So it's probably about 35, maybe 40% up. And uh, I'm gonna be cycling through the bass so you guys can get an idea of how much that plays into the sound and just how like loud it is basically. And then we'll do like one little like crank everything all the way up sort of test. That said, let's get on with it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So I got the bass all the way up and we're gonna go ahead and do one more little uh, track and then we're gonna close out the video. So get your vapes up cause it is vape nation. So yeah, that was the unboxing and quick demo of the Logitech Z323 speakers. Um, I wish I would have done it a little bit longer, but uh, <laughs> I could hear my neighbors rustling, so I didn't want to get a noise complaint or anything. So with that said, this is the Andy Son, signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.